All right, so we have Lucy. Oh, come on, Lucy. Easy. Very nice. Now, Lucy is a 10-month-old white lab, and she came to us about four weeks ago. And listen, this dog was just chalked full of misbehaviors. You know, she would pull on the leash. She would jump. She would run away. Wait. Easy. Uh, <clears throat> she'd counter surf and get in the trash. She's one of the most dedicated and hardworking counter surfers I've ever seen in my life. Wait. Okay. But as soon as we saw this dog, we knew what we were dealing with. Around here, we call these types of dogs best worst dogs. And what I mean by that is for someone like me, a dog trainer, a dog like Lucy is awesome because she has a naturally high energy level, a naturally high endurance level, a quick recharge rate. She's very inquisitive by nature and she has high retrieving drive. So this type of dog for me is perfect. I couldn't ask for a better dog. Now, you might say, well, Stoney, where does the worst part of it come in? Well, the worst part of it comes in when, uh, you know, like a suburban owner gets a dog like this, thinking that they're getting a low energy, sedate Labrador retriever, and they end up with a really high energy Labrador retriever. And where that creates problems, let me see, I'm gonna get over here so I can kind of illustrate this uh, graphically. Sit, stay. All right, so let me give you a quick visual representation of the type of problems that one runs into when they have a best worst dog. Okay, so you have a dog like Lucy. She's high energy, high endurance, quick recharge rate, naturally inquisitive nature. She loves to fetch and she loves attention. Okay, so when Lucy wakes up in the morning, this is what she thinks she needs to happen over the course of the day in terms of effort level. And oftentimes, like in Lucy's case, the owners you know, they kind of think this is what needs to happen. So let's think about it on a scale. Lucy thinks she needs a 10 and the owners think she needs a seven. Well, what that does is that leaves Lucy with some extra energy. And so what's Lucy do with that energy? She tries to figure out ways to get attention and to get access to do the things she likes to do. So we'll represent that with a little visual exercise. So right here, Lucy wakes up in the morning and she's neutral, okay? Well, so she doesn't get quite as much exercise as she thinks she needs. So she starts rummaging around in the house, going through the laundry, getting on the counters, getting in the trash, and people notice and they start to fuss at her. So Lucy starts to go, wait a minute, I was being ignored a minute ago. I got in the trash, I got on the counter, uh, I got in the laundry and I got noticed. Maybe I should double down and do that stuff some more and add some jumping up or maybe add some barking at the gate or barking at the door, okay? All of that stuff leads to the creation of what we call a negative attention seeking pattern. Now, that's, all we do here is we show people how to take that same dog, okay, make realistic expectations as it relates to how much exercise and attention she needs every day, and we get the dog up in the morning and we give them some exercise, a little bit more than what she was getting before. That helps her regulate her energy level and helps her regulate her natural inquisitiveness because she's outside and she gets to smell a lot and see a lot and do a lot and engage in a lot of physically and mentally complex behavior. So when, 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 when we move in that direction, we give the dog a little bit more attention, a little bit more exercise, the dog behaves a little better. Well then, like Lucy's owners, decide they ought to spend a little bit more time with it. Well, the more time that they spend with Lucy, the better Lucy behaves. And so basically what you can see when you have a best worst dog is if you underestimate how much attention and exercise as they need, then they will start moving in the misbehavior direction and you, your relationship will fall into a pattern of negative attention seeking. Same dog, you just readjust your expectations, readjust your understanding of what it takes for proper energy regulation and mental and physical stimulation, and you get up and you employ the new techniques and your dog starts to mind a little better. When the dog starts to mind a little better, you want to spend more time with it. And so now, instead of falling into a pattern of, pattern of negative attention seeking, we're falling into and building a pattern of positive attention seeking where the dog understands that it can control what happens to it over the course of the day through calm, attentive, and polite behavior. As the dog okay. behaves better, then, you know, listen, you're going to spend more time with it. That's just the way it's going to go. The more time you spend with your dog, the better the dog's going to behave. And that's really the choice. When you have a dog that uh, has got all the personal characteristics that a dog trainer would like, okay, you have to make a choice. Or are you going to let that energy go places you don't want and end up engaging in a pattern of negative attention seeking? Or are you going to be happy that you got an awesome dog and put all that energy in the direction of doing positive structured activities and proper energy regulation?
okay? So that's all we do here. Guys, dogs like Lucy come, they're going crazy with all the different misbehaviors that they've developed over the course of time. And we get them on a good exercise schedule. We teach them a, a common vocabulary, a set of physical skills. And then we teach the owners how to make use of a dog that has such awesome qualities. So I hope this helps you. If you're out there and you've got a dog that's kind of driving you crazy, stop, back up, evaluate your daily activity level and see if it matches up to the type of dog that you have. Because if you can match up your activity level with the dog's individual characteristics, then you're going to be successful pretty much every time.